these guys are still sitting here. So what shall we do next? What do we got time-wise? Oh, geez, okay. <clears throat> Waitress named Dia had an illegal bounty placed on her by Holden. Apparently, she attacked him in the cantina. Uh, okay, Matrix bounty. David King for the nail bounty and former associate named Matrix. Okay, there's that one. Salvin. She's a known assassin. Bendak. Oh, Bendak Star Killer, and then Largo, the guy in the apartments. Okay. Do a ring car, throw a transit, and then we're back to the normal uh, quest. So, okay. So now, what is the next thing we should do? Uh, give access to the lower city. All right, so we've got still a bunch of the lower city to do. Looks faded. No, it's it's the lighting because I have it turned a certain way. It makes it look faded, whereas other times. If it's in the right light or if I change a little bit and here I'll show you like kind of what I mean it's oversaturated in a sense <clears throat> so watch if I do this no gain if I turn the gain down a smidge see how it kind of changes it or if I turn it up a smidge and it kind of gets darkened and then oversaturated like that if I turn the gain way up or if I turn the gain way down it so well, now I got to get it back to where it was and at certain times it depending on the angle it changes I don't know so once I get into this new house and like the white balance too if I change the white balance see how it does that but like way up and just all crazy so once I get into this new office and once we get to the new house, I got to get the right setting back. There we go. All right, just cancel. Would you like to save your changes before exiting? No. So yes, yeah, so once I get to the new place, yeah, see how it does that too? That weird glitch. Um, I'll be able to set up my actual lights and not use these desk lights and I'll have an actual, you know, white light that I can use and use the light properly that my wife got me for christmas that i was using for a while and then i wasn't because the batteries were running out fast and how the heck do i get out of here oh yeah so <clears throat> yeah so we'll be uh i'll be able to actually use my real setup here hopefully soon um Actually, being out of the Sith costume is a good thing, because now. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. Back How base. Do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Sek. I'm no spy. I need Garden's help. I was told to him. I go wherever I want. Uh, I'm no spy. Maybe so, but this door is locked. The and hidden it's going back to base. Stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the hidden backs. It's not really hidden if you're standing right in front of the door. Uh, I need Gen's help. I was told to speak to him. I have to speak Gen. It's important. A lot of people want to go inside yeah. and speak to Gaden. He's a Gaden. hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gaden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe a bride could get me in. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. Yes, ma'am. Vex are watching you. Cool. Yeah, let's go in. Why not? Go into the hidden... Black base. Okay, we should put away our dueling guns that we have. You know, our dual guns. Hidden back. Gontijani. Now I'm dealing slaves with the Republic soldier, Bridget. Offer prize. These are all just hidden backs. Okay, blah blah blah. We don't need to talk to everyone. Super sweet race coming up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it really matters that. 
Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gad? Uh... Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. Oh, wow, you're just sitting right out in the open like that? I thought you'd be in the back. You're too trusting, and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking <clears throat> strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want. Jump cut. I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Vulcar Spy. <laughs> he said it. I want to go around the base first. <clears throat> Locked. Ooh, can we take it? Maybe I should save before anything, just in case I end up taking something, and then uh, they say, no, 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 you can't do that. Would you be a Sith or Jedi? I think somebody asked me that before, and it's hard to come up with a with an, uh, an answer. I would, I, I would probably say. I would probably say Jedi. I may go kind of in the middle, what they call a gray Jedi or, you know, a gray force user. I don't know. I don't know. Security door. Standard door. Nothing here. What's that? Security door. Ah, crap. Okay. Maybe I should put. Now that I'm in the base, maybe I should put on my Sith outfit. See what they say. No, because the gray Jedi's aren't necessarily evil. They're just, or you know, gray Force users. They're just not Jedi's, but they're not Sith either. It's not like they're evil. So, talk to her. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's talk to Gadden. Gadden. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have problems with the Sith? I need information on those Republic escape pods crashed in the other city. I need to ask some questions. Let's just start off with A foreign army basic. invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to be that kind of operation. You considered Sith. <laughs> They'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is oh, wasted shoot. on this stupid on. gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. So yeah, I didn't see this. I must not have my computer volume up. So <clears throat> when um crap, when uh Benji Brick came in with uncensored mic, it was it wasn't just a host, it was a raid. I didn't realize that. Let me see if it works. So the raid Okay, so the follow, James Webb, that was left. So, Streamlabs raid alert doesn't pop up? That's weird. I'm gonna have to check that. Maybe they added a, uh, a raid, uh, because it, it, it should just pop up as a host, but it doesn't. But it's an actual raid. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that then. Huh, well that's why I didn't see it, because it was a raid. Well, again, thank you, uh, Benji, for uh, for that, and I totally missed it. Anyways, back to this. So far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city and strength wasted this stupid gang war. Try to explain a break, but he in the bunk. Okay, need information about the escapes. Escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. You don't look like you're with the Sith. Nope. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, mm, I could think be working for the Sith. Has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. Do you know anything about this or not? No, I'll be... I suppose I could tell you what I know. 
It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas. Within hours? Happened. That means we got the out really quick. Public officer named Bastila survived the crash. That's what we're looking we for. We don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. Oh, they, they took her. Prisoner. Normally, what the happened? Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Mm, we'll find her. That's be some way I can help her. Swoop race. Swoop race. Does that? What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize ah. in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? When well, we can't fight all the gangs. Mm -hmm. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Nice. I don't think I've ever gotten this far. Can you help me with this? Well, I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. Sure. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. <clears throat> what are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. Sure. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. Kind of like First, episode one. have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. Are you going to steal it then? you to break into their base and steal it back. All right, I guess. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulcan base? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Hey. Mission? Gaddon, you can't we be know her. serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity so much better than anyone. If anyone can help inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. Yeah, we just ran they into like her. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the danger. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Yeah, we already got it. I've got some Sith Universe to scout. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard. But the security down here is much uh. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. Nice. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, nice. I suppose I could give them to you in exchange papers. for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Forget it. I'm not giving up my disguise. Oh, so he's... Since we're working together, I suppose I could give you them in exchange for the uniforms. Oh, what do you need? What do you want with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Well, he's not going to give us the papers if we don't give him the disguises, so... Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Yeah, but it was a little extra nah, armor, I think. anything so. else I can do for you? Uh... But your time would probably be better spent going... What's up with your freaky eyes, old man? Is there something wrong with your eyes? You said you have problems with the Sith. Uh... Blah, 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 okay, all this stuff. All right, cool. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. What is up, Hippo? Uh, journal entry added, items received, items lost. Check out, search for this. But how are you doing tonight, Hippo? You guys are gonna be coming uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, helping us move all day, every day, right? Right, you'll be here, moving all the boxes and whatnot. 
So we got the papers, but we lost our armor. But that's fine. We've got our normal combat suit, I guess. Oh, that's right. We got the um. We did get some more of these vibro, the shock shock stick. Damage physical two to five. Uh, it's actually not bad, but I don't like doing physical, like getting close. I mean, if I had. I mean, I guess if I dual wield the shock stick and a vibro blade and get close and whatnot, I could really tear them up, but it's all right. All right, so we need to uh, da, 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 to the vault crisis suggested the permission under city. Okay, so we got to go to the under city here. <clears throat> we need to get her so we can get to the vault cars. All that good stuff. And we've got what? About 40 minutes ish? About, so. Work second, so I won't be able to. Ah, that's alright. Oh! Black Volcar. Uh, enemy sighted. Okay, let's go back. We'll wait to engage because I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them on or not. So let's save and see how this does. You know what? This may be a good time for me to try this out. So let's go. Let's go, Bogar. You cannot equip this weapon while an incompatible weapons in your other hand. Oh. What? I want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Jeez. Oh, I just can do a vibro blade then. All right, let's try this out. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. Oh, I got t taken down in one shot. Oh my god, these guys are tough. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's the first time we've totally died. Okay, so those guys are bad news. All right, so I need to go back and find mission. And Zabak or whatever. Where is this underworld? Black Volcar base. Never can see a hidden base. Upper city apartments. Well, maybe the apartments are. I need your help to teach me how to edit videos. Well, of course. Volcar Enforcer. Oh no, they're all over the place. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe if I stand back far enough. Oh no. Okay, nope, nope. This is not gonna do good. So, you can't go. Oh. Oh no, I can't turn take my I can't put my Sith stuff on because they have it. So how do I get out of here then? I go one way there's dudes and I go the other way there's dudes. Hmm. So do I go through the cantina? Is um is mission back in the cantina now? That draw distance though, holy cow. There's like no draw distance down here. But yeah, editing stuff's not that bad. Not that hard to do, I mean if you're looking for just basic editing and whatnot. But even adding some transitions and dissolves and wipes and things like that it's not that hard either so yeah <clears throat> all right so mission and her her wookie are not here 
in the Undercity or the sewers to get your help. So, oh, is this one of the instances where I can uh, fast travel? I think I might have to because I can't, I can't get out of here. Going one way has baddies, going the other way has baddies. Yeah, so there's badges that way. So I may have to go back then. I guess, unless I'm totally missing where uh, this underworld is. These are doors, yeah. This. I just get out of here. Okay, just get out. All right, that's good. Uh... <laughs> Isn't gonna say, "Hey, how did you get?" This elevator is off limits. Only set patrol. It's obvious from the way you're. I got authorization papers right here. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Okay, so Be now we can go. There. Okay, so that's good there, but we need to get into In the undercity or the sewers to get you help Okay, so where do we get to the undercity? There's the upper city south Sith base can't get into lower city which we can do but see the under undercity was probably oh I may need to try to take out those guys in the sewers Let's go back to the hideout real quick. That's the easiest way to the other side of the map. Oh, here's Dia. Journal entry added. Journal what's the journal entry we just got? Oh, order received. Yep, I've got work tomorrow and Sunday and Monday Because I'm taking off Tuesday Wednesday um, I Work a little bit on Thursday just in the morning for like four hours Because then Thursday afternoon. I'm gonna be moving and stuff and then Friday. I'm off So it's like yeah, I have off days, but not really because we're gonna be moving on every single one of the days So but yeah, I work tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. So <clears throat> but that's the only way I can get my hours because I'm I'm needing off Tuesday and Wednesday for sure Tuesday and Wednesday off and then uh, I'm really only going after all said and done even with having that extra day and a half off I'm still gonna pretty much almost hit my full 40 hours because I'm working longer shifts tomorrow and Sunday and Monday so Okay Priority will put up top. So it said there was a data and journal entry for something, but it's it's still up there. There it goes. Voluntary overtime this weekend, but I want my weekend. Yeah. She's here. Can we take her out? You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. I want to ask you some questions. I'm looking for something to steal, stay out of my way. Uh, a question. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know. I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. Wait. Think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. I don't care about justice. I want the credits. I'm not getting involved in this. What you do now is your concern, not mine. I guess I have no choice but to stay here and hope Holden cool. That's fine. I don't want to kill her or anything. Dia's bounty. Dia explained to you. Okay. 
I want wait, why is that priority? I want search for whatever. 